Hi, my name is Gabriella and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to show you how to set up your Logify website. In the last video, we showed you the first few steps of getting started with your Logify account. So this is a part two. If you need help or assistance with anything, please reach out to our support team directly. I'll leave the information on how to contact them in the description below. So let's get started. Here we can see our dashboard, which we saw and we talked a little bit more about in the last video. Uh, we have our progress bar. So from setting up our first rental, we're 20% done. So let's push it a little bit further. Here we have the button to get started to create our website. So I'm gonna click here. This brings us to pick our templates. We have four to choose from. We have Livingston, Tideway, Capuchin, and Brooklyn. You can click through the different templates and you can have a preview of what they look like. I'm gonna go with this one. Here you can pick your template color. Um, so whichever one kind of fits your vacation rental brand the best. I'm gonna go with this one. We need our hero image. A hero image is the first image that's gonna come up when people view your website. So it's super important to have a very high res, beautiful photo, something that's gonna attract attention and make people wanna book. Here you can put in your business name and a tagline. Here you can upload your logo. Again, make sure it's super high res. So we have the first few steps completed. Let's go to the website and customize it a little bit more. Again, you can see here that you can change the template and you can get a preview again of what it's gonna look like. So you can choose from different palettes, different color palettes, but don't worry, you can also customize by whatever color you're feeling. So go with your brand colors, go with the colors that best represent your rental. You can see here that you can change the business name color, links, buttons, everything like that. And then a little bit further down, we can see our fonts and the button style. So we can either have outlines or solid, and we can also choose the shape, so sharp, rounded or pill. This is the hero image that I was talking about. I'm gonna grab one from my desktop. There we can see the hero image front and center on the booking site. I'm gonna match the, the colors on the website a little bit better to my logo so I have more orange and white rather than having this red color. Again, you can play around with this. Here you can pick the font for different areas of your website. Make sure that you're using the same font across all of your channels. So if you're using one font for graphics on social media, make sure you're using the same font here to keep your brand nice and cohesive. For the button style, I'm gonna use solid and I like the, I like the, the rounded shape, so I'm gonna swap to that one. Under this section that we were editing, we also have the content of the site. You wanna make sure to pack this area with keywords so you have a better chance to rank higher in a search result. You can talk about your rental, the key features, unique selling points, about your location of the property, and you can also add badges or awards for your rental. To be able to edit this section, we're gonna head over here to Pages. Here, you can totally customize it by just dragging and moving. To edit the text, you simply have to click here. You can also do a little bit of keyword research to make sure that you're packing the right words into this section of text. So things that people are gonna be searching for on Google. If you're close to a really popular beach, tourist hotspots, these are all really good words to include here. So you have a better chance to rank higher on Google. To change the photo, you just click here and you can take one from your desktop. Again, make sure you're using super high quality, high resolution images. To edit things like your overview, map, gallery rates, all of these things that are listed here, once you click, you'll see there's a prompt to, to go to edit them. So if you want to edit your rental overview, this is how you edit it and it'll be reflected on the website. Up here where it says view website, you can also preview the website to see what it's gonna look like. So you can do a preview version or a live version. I'm gonna click preview. You can see this is how our website's looking so far. There's a lot of work to be done, but it's looking good. 
Along the top, we can move along from pages and we can go into editing the settings. Here you can edit your domain, you can edit the active languages that you have on your site. You can link your social media accounts to the website. This is super important, especially if you do a lot of marketing for your rental on social media. Make sure to link your Instagram, your Facebook if you use it, whichever social media platforms that you're using the most, make sure to link them here. Advanced settings. So here you can edit your favicon. If you're wondering what a favicon is, it's the little image that comes up on the internet tab on your internet browser. Um, so you can add your logo there as the favicon. You can do custom translation and you can change the website's type. Moving on from settings, there's also an option to add an external widget. So this is super, super interesting. If you already have a website for your rental, if you have a website with another website provider like Squarespace or Wix, you can make it bookable with Logify. Here you can edit the style of the widget. So the language, the colors and the kind of shape. You can also pick if you want it to be a search bar or a booking box. Down here is where you generate the code and you need to put this into your existing website. I'll leave the information and the instructions on how to do this in the description. So once you've added lots and lots of high quality images to your website, some keyword rich content, you're ready to publish, but don't worry, you can come back at any stage to edit any of the content on your website. To publish, you simply click here. Now that we have the website published, let's head back to the dashboard. We can see the next step here on our dashboard is to configure the payments, but don't worry, we're going to cover this in the next video. If there's anything that you think we left out or anything you'd like us to cover, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.